I've been blessed with the ability to have a city life and a country life, and I like it. You know, it's hard to split your time and have two things to look after and all that, but I have found a way to manage. It's good to get my hands dirty again, and it's nice to be solving a real problem. I look at what people are doing, and it's like you've got a solution in search of a problem. And it was kind of fun to have somebody come along and say, oh, I I think I've solved a neat problem. If we could figure out how to build it, I think they'd want to buy one. There's something um, very attractive about just that good old fashioned, let's get her done, build this thing, get it out. You know, not overcomplicated and not make it, you know, I like selling a $25,000 farming unit. I'm very glad to be launching something from scratch and trying to use all my wisdom for that. The product is called the Aero, and we came up with that name because we took two words and put it together. So we aerate swaths or windrows. We sped up his harvest, and he got a better, he got a better quality sample. And it was dry, and that was worth a lot to him. Paid for the machine basically just on that one event. It's pretty simple. So my partner, Ryan Sommerfeld, he's actually the, the brains behind the original concept. We thought, is there a way I could drive really fast and get my swaths to lift better than the way it is now? I'm thoroughly enjoying the benefits of years of experience in marketing farm equipment because now you can really look at it and say, okay, well, how is the best way to get to market? And the, the truth is with social media, internet now, the exposure is so much different than it used to be. The plan is to do this in a way that's pretty sustainable. We're not going to build a factory. We're not going to start a big bunch of overhead. We're going to get them built, get them sold, do, you know, rinse, repeat. Lots of excitement about it because of how fast you can go and the productivity side. I'm still young and I'm sure there'll be other experiences yet to come for me. I mean, I'm not uh, closing the door on anything. I'm, I'm excited to see what happens in the world in the next few years, I think there's going to be some pretty neat opportunities. I, there always is when there's a major disruptive event.